Yo, what is up, YouTube? My name is Aaron, and today I have a brand new live story for you. This will complete the week of the promised daily upload of live stories. So yesterday, Sunday, was way too hectic for me, um, so I am uploading yesterday's video for today. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So this live story is the time I was most scared. This is the most scared moment of my entire life. Um, I have another one that, that is close to this, that, um, you know, if this video gets enough thumbs up that I will release um, tomorrow if you guys want it. Um, but no cap um, on likes. And at the end of this video, I have some important news and information you guys might like. So let's get right into this story. So let's start it off on the day of. It was Friday the 13th, and I was at my grandparents' house, right? So... First of all, Friday the 13th, yes, pretty sketchy, but I did not realize it was Friday the 13th as I was over at their house. Um, I was home alone, upstairs, watching TV. I don't know what I was watching at the time, but I was watching something. It was keeping me entertained because at my grandparents' house at the time, there was no internet. Um, I don't even think I had um, like a cell phone, like a, a gaming <laughs> Uh, 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 something to keep my interest on with a cell phone. I know today we have smartphones, but this was back in like the flip phone era, right? So I'm sitting up there and I'm watching TV and I hear a phone ring, right? I hear a house phone ring, but I go around to the phones and the answer machine did not catch. So I'm like looking, I'm like, where is this coming from? And I get closer to the basement door, which is shut. Um, and I could hear it coming from downstairs, right? So I I open up the door and I flip on the light switch and the lights do not come on. And I'm like, okay, well, the phone is not worth it, right? So I shut the door, go back up into my seat and I'm just sitting there. I'm kind of like, okay, so it's kind of creepy a little bit, like the phone downstairs and the basement was ringing. And it was one of those old school rings too, not this the new modernized digital. I mean, it sounded like there was a bell inside of the phone. It was ding, 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 ding. If I can find a sound clip, I'll, I'll put it in this video. But I was sitting there and I got on my flip phone, right? And, or somehow found out that the date was Friday the 13th. And I sat there, and it did not register, like, the two things. The phone already kind of passed over me. I wasn't thinking about that. And I was like, wow, today's Friday the 13th. And I was like, I'm here alone. I should not have done that. I should have went out with my grandparents and my parents, wherever they went. And I hear the phone ring again. And it's coming from downstairs. So I, I go to the door, and I try the light switch again, and the light's cut on. I'm like, okay, that's that's pretty weird. So I go down the steps. I'm like, I'm going to answer it, see who's who's calling the basement phone. And, and I get down there. And as soon as I get, I would say, halfway between the phone and halfway between the steps, all of the lights go out. And I'm in complete darkness. This is a basement with one window, and it's on the opposite side of where I am, right? So... I'm a little freaked out. I'm I'm looking around trying to find my way back. I like open up my phone and use the little screen's light and and I'm I, I hear the phone ring. I'm going over to it and and I answer and I'm like, "Hello." And I just hear like um I I I ask again, "Hello. Who who is this? Uh what are you calling here for?" And the lights come back on instantly. And the phone, the other person hangs up. I get the, bing, you know, that busy signal, right? And I'm a little freaked out. I'm like, okay, someone's calling and breathing. Although I've never heard the basement phone ring before. This is, this is weird that it's not ringing to the rest of the house either. So I go back upstairs and I'm getting on my phone and I try to call my mom and she doesn't pick up, and I'm getting a little worried. I'm, I'm just, I'm like, all right, something, something's happening. Something's happening over here. And then the lights go out upstairs where I am, and they instantly come back on. As soon as they cut off, they come back on, kind of like a little power surge. And then the phone rings again. So I continue 
to go downstairs again, and I was a little upset. The lights were on when I opened up the door. I took note in that. I was getting a little freaked out. And on the way down, I hear like a, a dragging on pavement sound, like a, uh, like a metal object kind of dragging along. I'm sure you've heard that before. And I'm getting a little freaked out a little more. I go over to the phone, and I pick up the phone again, and yet again, it's just breathing. And I'm like, please, please do not call back here. And then I hear the basement door slam shut. Just the loudest sound, lights go out, and then over in a corner, I see a light come on. And I'm, I'm telling you, I am... I, <laughs> There's probably, uh, there's, a, there's a line of straight piss coming from me, and I'm sure I dropped a few, few little bricks off on the ground. <laughs> I filled my diaper, and, and, and I, I go, my heart, I can't tell you how fast it was beating. I, I could, I could definitely feel it, I could hear it, it was so silent down there, and I hear that sound again, that dragging across the pavement. And I walk up to the steps and something pushes me. And it's dark. I can't see anything. I have my phone light out trying to see the ground so I don't bump into anything. And something pushes me. And I yell. I, I, I let out a yell. And I'm, I'm running. I'm going over to the light now because that's, that's the only safe spot. And as soon as I get over there, the lights turn off again. Every light turns off. The phone rings. And then all the lights come back on. And... My friends, they jumped out from around the corner. They had a little shovel they were dragging on the ground. And they just pranked you, bro. They live on the same street as my grandparents. And honestly, I haven't talked to them in forever. And I'm like, how how did you get down here? And they're like, hey, the window was open. I'm like, so you, you, you came in? They're like, yeah, we knew you were here. We saw you. We saw you get leave. We saw you enter the house. So we were going to mess with you on Friday the 13th. And I'm just like, honestly, if <sighs> probably a tear was running down my cheek, I can't, it, I, I've tried to keep this as calm and monotone as possible throughout this video, but the level of scared I was, you know, I, I asked how they did everything. Like, I was like, how do you make that one phone ring? And they were like, well, we called that phone to our phone and we got the number and we kept calling it. And right over here is the breaker switch. We kept turning off the power and... I was like, oh, man, that's crazy. Think and then as soon as, as soon as they said that, I, I heard some cars roll up. I was like, well, you need to leave. <laughs> Just get out of here. They crawled back out through the window. They went home, went upstairs. And I was like, hey, does that phone downstairs not on, is that not on the same call network? Like on the same phones as up here? Grandma was like, no, no, uh, your grandpa, he got that so he could make calls while I was making calls. I was like, ah, it makes sense. But I hope you guys enjoy this story. I, it was scary, right? It, it was scary to me. I have another story that is that is pretty scary. It doesn't top this, but um, let me know down below if you guys want to see it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, important updates, I promised that at the beginning of the video. I believe with my schedule this school year, I will be able to daily upload throughout the school week for me, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, I might be able to wedge a video out for you guys on Fridays too, um, and then maybe make the weekends for dedicated streaming if I have time. School is hectic. I can't wait until the summer so I can supply you guys with the videos you really want, but there's also going to be some new series that come out. Uh, one that I'll, I'll, I'm going to sneak peek right here, and if you, if you made it to the end, you'll get to know about it, but I am going to be making a complete playlist on how to make a YouTube channel from start to finish, gain subscribers, do everything you need to do, and I'm going to have a special with that too. So all everything else is secret. There's a big plan for uh, those those playlists and that series of video. And I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I hope you guys enjoy these live stories. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Peace.